Hello, people. Back in Ocarina. And Finn, how you guys doing? Let's see, Ocarina's trying to do the slap command again. Even though we don't have it set up in here. Bin, hello, hello. Got our big bit voltage booster box here, ready to go. I think I've got pretty much everything set up. Ready for it. I'll just clear a bit of desk space. So I can move cards around if I need to while we're doing it. Uh, how are you finding the table looking cool though? What do you mean table? This is just my desk. This is just my nice wooden desk. I'm trying to figure it out. Lighting should be fine. Ocarina, thanks for the host. Really appreciated. How you doing, Trolley? By the way. I, I, I was playing Cyberpunk before. Such a good game so far. I had I did have to drop my graphics though. Because even with the 2080. Like an auto mod. Even with the 2080, it, it still can't run an Ultra. Yeah, oh, Pancake, yeah, I, I know. I can see you on Steam. It's so good. You're in school. Yeah, oh, that's right. You're, you're in school, aren't you, Ocarina? Yeah, that sucks. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing good. With a 2070 playing it on medium, yeah. I have a 2080 and I had to drop it onto medium as well, Pancake. It's annoying, but... You gotta do what you gotta do. You just, yeah. You can't really do much else about it. Not doing so bad, distracting myself with some games. Are you playing Cyberpunk, Trolley, or did you not get it for release day launch? I get anywhere from 60 to 100 FPS. Yeah, as long as you're getting above 60 FPS, game's fine. I wait until I can buy the 3080. Yeah, if I could, if I got the 3080 to run this game on ultra graphics, whew, that'd be beautiful. But <laughs> that that's expensive getting a 3080 when I literally bought this PC last year. Not that interested with Cyberpunk, unfortunately. So I'm just watching other streamers play it. Yeah, that's fair enough. I mean, if you're not that interested, then yeah, just watching other people play it rather than spending a hundred dollars on something that you might not play that much. Completely fair enough. I was considering streaming it, but uh, I just sort of want to play it. So I'm going to do a solo run. I might do a run on stream, but I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be very oversaturated with everyone wanting to play it. Yeah, we got our fully sealed Viv Voltage pack here. I'm good. Just open it up here. All the rubbish on the floor for now. There we go. There's a booster box opened up, ready to go. Pokemon cards? Yeah, we got the Pokemon cards, Ben. Oh, they... It looks so nice. I What I'm hoping for is the Amazing Rare Rayquaza. Rayquaza is the Amazing Rare that I wanted out of this set. I'm actually going to bring up the website as well, so I can look at what cards there are. Um, Celebi wouldn't be a bad Amazing Rare either. Um, Raikou would be okay. I don't remember. Zacian? Zacian? I always forget how to pronounce it. I'm not particularly too keen on that, if we get that. Zamazenta? It's okay, not ideal either. 
Um, Jirachi wouldn't be too bad. Rayquaza. I think that's all the amazing rares. Yeah. Obviously, we're hoping for the fat Pikachu here as well. I got Celebi and Rayquaza, which are easily best two. Yeah, they're the main two that I want, but chances of getting both of them are quite unlikely. Watch me just get, like, two Raikus or something. Just watch me get that garbage luck. Yeah, let, let's get this first pack open at least. the card. One, two, three, four from the back. Got Leaf Energy. Tang. Mariana. Beauty. Banfi. Yanma. Flare and Meowth. Duskull. Voltorb, first hollow pincushion, and wrap locked. Wrap one to start off, but plenty more to go. Got plenty of sleeves, don't I? Yeah. I'll have enough to sleeve pretty much everything. First hollow and above. Yeah. Green pack. Pretty garbage. Um oh, the fat Pikachu would be very nice to get here. But I don't think we're gonna get it. What are the other ones? Okay, so I've already got the Rainbow Rare Opal. So if we're going to get one of them, I don't want it to be Opal. I don't want a Jupia. Secret Rare Opal, that's what they're called. Two, three, four. Metal Energy, League Staff, Rock a Rock, Aromatic Energy, Drill Bar, Fairy, Whalma, Sperm, Eggs, Verse Holy Woobat, and Grapple Oft again. I won't bother sleeping all the Reverse Hollows right now, we can sleeve them afterwards. Still can't see him, I need to move him the other way actually. It's annoying me that I don't have nails for this at all. But that's what happens when you bite them constantly. Ball from the back. Electric Energy, Woobat, Madred, Zeb Striker, Picky Peck, Fuchiana, Rockruff, Blitzel, Kiddo, Verse Holly Giraffe Rig, 
Oh, damn. Holographic Lugia. Woo. Look at that. Holographic Lugia. Oh, damn. Surely Holographic Lugia is a good card in this. Oh, look at it. I don't know if it's actually... It's probs worth fuck all. Yeah. I just remember it from... Oh, whoops. I can't remember which set it is, but one of the sets, Lugia, is like the top card in it. Yeah, the, the, problem, the problem is you can't find any of it on the trading card website, the Poke Collector. Because none of these cards have prices, really. But Lugia, that's a very cool card. Neo Genesis Lugia is the big one. Yeah, that'd be the one I'm thinking of. Isn't... That's a few grand, isn't that? The Neo Genesis Lugia. It's like... That's not the one that's worth like 10, 20 grand or something, is it? I know, I know it's a big card in the Neo Genesis. Old sold recently for- one sold recently for 129k? Okay, that's more than I thought it was. Four from the back. Damn. Yeah, Neo Genesis Lugia actually goaded. Water energy. Go goat. Marathon, Dusclops, Eevee, Wubat, Aracuda, C Dot, Banfi, Verse Holo, Picky Pack, and Whimsicott. Another average pack. What is it with these ones? Could have been from Ludwig Miskiff watching the auction on stream though. I think that's what it was. I think it was a Mizkiff video that I was watching. Roar. Hey BLZ, how you doing, man? Yeah, what, what is it? You're guaranteed two of the amazing rares. And is it 12 hollows in it? Good yourself? Yeah, I'm do going good. I just open up some Pokemon cards right now. For a few packs in. You got the... Holographic Lugia, which is a very cool card, but apart from that, the other packs have been pretty crap. But, I'm, I'm very happy with the Lugia pool. Lugia is a very cool card. I don't think there is a guaranteed amount of hollows in old school boxes. Ah, is it old school that it was a thing? I remember- I, I never know which it's actually for. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's- I know I've heard people say it's guaranteed two amazing rares, but I don't know if that's actually a thing. That is guaranteed. But for most of the boxes I've seen, there have been two amazing rares in them. What's made Pokemon blow up recently? Never used to see many people stream things related to opening Pokemon cards. You'll probably get two. Yeah, I'll more than likely get two in this. Um, I'm not sure. It, it'd be one of the big streamers opened up Pokemon cards or something like that. Or, yeah, that's what it was. It was Logan Paul opened up a $100,000 Pokemon booster box. So something like what I have here, but the old set valued at $100,000. Hey, Dre, how you doing, man? Yeah, and Logan Paul opened up that, and it's basically set off this big chain of Pokemon again. Which, it's probably the one good thing that I'll say that Logan Paul has done. I don't know anything else good that he's done, but that's the one good thing that I can say he's done. So we've got a Sableye here. Galvantula. Windon. Riolu. Nice card. Eevee. C-Dot. Electric. Clefairy. 
First Hollow Swallow. Oh. We've got a good one, boys. Darmaton V. Not amazing, but it's still a pretty nice card. It was both good and bad. It was good in the sense that it was content, bad in the fact that it, it's bad on my bank account. The man- I, I always call it Dharmachan. But it's Dharmanitan? Dharmanitan? One other good thing he did was pick a fight with Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, he's gonna get- he's gonna get his face kicked in. In that fight, Dre. More people getting into the hobby but inflating prices like crazy, yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's good and bad. Bets? How quick is the fight gonna be? Against what most people are probably gonna say, I reckon I reckon Logan will last a round. I reckon Logan will last a round against him, but it'll be in the second round that it's a knockout. I don't know 100% how boxing works, but it's gonna be a knockout or whatever, TKO. Like, it, the fight's gonna be called in the second round. My god, opening this crap without nails is so annoying. Oh. Or from the back. Dark energy, hit on top, Swoobat, Mag Cargo, Yamma, Valerian Meowth, Duskull, Voltorb, Weedle, Bobapus, and Ooh, Vaporeon. Nice. One of the Evolutions. Not a horrible card. I mean, we would have preferred a hollow, but we'll take a Vaporeon. Definitely gonna need to have a better system for putting all these normal cards rather than just dumping them here. Actually. I will use the tin that we got. The other Oh, it would have been was it yesterday? It was yesterday, wasn't it? I'll use the tin for now. That we got yesterday, Ben. The store all the Regular normals and commons and uncommons. Okay, four from the back here. And it's a leaf energy. Pin Cushion, Loud Red, Memory Capsule, Whalema, Cottony, Clobberpuss, Electrike, Execute, Ooh, Reverse Holo Oshwat, that's not bad, one of the starters, and, Ooh, Holographic, I, I cannot pronounce any of these Nord Pokemon's name, Duralodon, Holographic Duralodon, actually, Quite nice with the holographic. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty clean. It's poor man's Dialga. Actually, is Dialga in this pack? It is. Okay, that's what we're hoping for. We're hoping for the Dialga. Dialga would be a hype pool to get here. Same typing and body shape, just not a legendary like Dialga is. Okay. Yeah, Dialga, Oh, But they don't have Palkia. Okay. Dialga is from the generation of which I first started playing Pokemon, so if we could get a Dialga, that would actually be insane. What about Giratina though? Um, is Giratina in this set?
I could be spelling this completely wrong. It doesn't look like it. Gen 4 Pog? Yeah, Gen 4 Pog. Diamond and Pearl were the first games that I played. And then I got Heart Gold and Soul Silver, and then I went back and played Fire Red after that. So my Pokemon play order is very scuffed. them there for now. Um, four from the back. Electric. We've got electric boys. This is the fat Pikachu here. Nuzleaf. Wash energy. The bath. Bathhouse. Eevee. C dot. Electric. The fairy. Banfi. Reverse Hollow Lichen Rock, that's not too bad. Oh! Ooh, Drapion V! I don't think I've ever actually used Drapion in a actual Pokemon game. If I'm being completely honest. Look at that. You can just see the lines on it. Drapion cool as fuck. He's good. Yeah, he, he looks like a good card. I mean, he probably is a good Pokemon in the games. I've just never actually used him. I don't know what generation he is, but I'm pretty sure I've seen him in games before, but I've never actually caught one and used one. Yeah. Before I open up this pack, actually. What cards? It, it is Gen 4? Okay. Don't bruh me. Scorp Scorpy's in the Safari Zone? Ah, okay. Don't bruh me. I haven't played Gen 4 since I had it on my DS. Which, were, which I traded in my DS to get Xbox 360 games back in 2012. So it's been a minimum... Eight years since I last played it. Can we get a bra in the chat? No, no, no. Stop bra-ing. Stop dropping bras. Okay, so four, four from the back. Fighting energy. Flaring Stumpfisk. Aromatic. Mightyena, Melacry, Wufa, Incarta, Wisma, Rilva, Burst Hollow Electrode, and Donphan. Nothing amazing from that pack. Great, stop dropping bras, honestly. Honestly, I'm not a fan of those cards that look like a toy in the real world, like the Drillbo one there. It's a big bra moment. I mean, yeah, I get what you mean. Some of them do look a little weird. Off from the back. And then we got the fire type, fire energy. Hit on top. Mag Cargo, Drone Rotom, Wooper. But legit, you get the cool art ones and the ones that look like that, yeah. Galarian Meowth, Cottony, Aracuda, 
then Carter, first hollow Stunfisk, and El Creamy. Another one of the average packs. How many have we pulled so far? We've pulled four of the good cards. Out of, I don't even know how many packs we've opened at this point. I was not keeping track at all. One, two, three, four on the back. Psychic Energy, Tang, Kakuna, Moomoo Cheese, Skiddo, Eevee, Rubbish, Chuppet, Doodle, Versalo Burnett, and Benetric. Next drink actually looks like a decent card. Looks pretty cool. Pull one from the back this time. I've been opening from the front the whole time. Let's open one from the back. What's up, bish? Hey, Link. How you doing, man? What you up to? Or from the back. We've got dark energy, trading energy, hero metal, flaring stunfisk, parasite, the dean, the dene, however you want to say it. And yeah, here's one of the. You. What about these ones, Dre? Not too bad, just chilling, saw you were doing Pokemon cards, figured I'd drop in. All good, Link, thanks for popping in. Are these the ones you're talking about, Dre? The ones that look like clay? Like little clay dolls? Clay toys? Bruh, fuck that one in particular. Yeah, yeah. The ones that look like they're made out of clay. Link, thanks for the host, man. Really appreciated. Got Rilba, Oshawott, Duskull. Reverse Hollow Blitzel and a Ninja. A ninja looks like a alright card. I love those ones. Yeah, fight in chat. Fight in chat over whether the toy looking ones are trash or good. No, true, Ben's a mod. Four from the back. Psychic. Rocky Helmet. Garvantula. Swallow. Shuppet. Pichiana. Voltorb. Rockruff. Halo. Reverse Hollow Go Goat. I think this is a yellow one. Look at the color boys. I think this is the yellow, one of the yellow secret rares. Ooh. Oh, the layer in Obstagoon. Oh, look at it, boys. Oh, damn. Ooft! Yeah, big oofta! The Kiss Raccoon himself, yeah. First thing I'm doing with this... Is fuck doing anything else? 
Putting the big boy into a top loader. Look at this beautiful boy. How much is it worth though? Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll look at all the prices for all the good pulls we got after we finished opening everything. Because it's too much effort to do it all individually right now because Pokey Collector doesn't actually have any of the pricings or the other websites for pricings. I'll have to actually go onto Pokemon Card Trader or something. All those websites to look at it. But damn. That's so cool. I, I pulled the Go Goat up. And I just saw yellow and seventy dollars on eBay. I'm assuming that's PSA ten. That might be US for thirty dollars. Okay. Damn. The big boy pool. Let's go. Hey Charlie, Salb, how you guys doing? Yeah, big pogs boys. We got the yellow. Secret rare. Galarian Obstagoon. It's actually such a good card. Yeah, yeah, bro, I'm doing great, but it looks like you're doing better. Yeah, we, we've got a couple of decent pulls so far, Charlie, but this is definitely the best pull so far. So we had that Obstagoon. We also got Drapion V, Duraludon, Holo. I the guy that I always scuff the name. The Manitan V, and we've got a holographic Lugia, which the holographic Lugia was my favorite card until we hit this yellow. The gl oh, it's just, it's so beautiful. Now I can add it to my collection of other cards. So now I have so I've got Opal, which is from the same set here. I've got, that's the promo Gyarados from the trainer box. And I got a shiny Guzzlord GX that I opened yesterday with my, with Nosk. And then the only other card here that I have in a top loader. Is this original art? First Hollow Charmander, valued at two hundred dollars PSA ten. That I got from an XY Evolutions pack, which is probably the most valuable card. Uh, most valuable card I own. And the funny thing is, it's the most valuable card I own, but it's a, it's all it is is a reverse holo compared to all the hollows and special cards and all that I have. Bro, the Charmander reverse is that much? Yeah, apparently it is. For the XY evolutions, let me just bring it up again. I'll see, I'll tell you what it sold at for PSA 10. Um, XY evolutions... Actually, I'm going to need to go onto a side, aren't I? Because it's not going to show me. Um, and this does not work. Um, go to TCG player. I won't lie, I'm trying. I'm not trying to flex, but I got the Zard from XY Evolutions. You got the Charizard. That is actually Pog as fuck, dude. Flex all day, every day with that shit. Um. Let me just quickly see if I can find the Charmander holographic on here. No, it's not on here anymore. I'd have to look it look it up properly later on. Oh. Fuck's sake, Nightbot. It ain't two hundred dollars. Yeah, it it was two hundred it had sold for one eighty PSA ten when I had when I checked last. I have to link an eBay sale of the Zard, lol. Yeah, fair, fair enough. 
It's just Nightbot is a bitch. But having Nightbot like that means that all the bots that come in saying, do you want to be famous and all that bullshit, it just means that they get cucked every time and they can't do anything. You have Discord? Yeah, I've got Discord. If you do exclamation mark Discord, you can join my Discord server and post a link in there. I'll go back to the voltage on that. One sold it for 87 last month. But is that PSA 9 or PSA 10? Because I know that I saw PSA 9 selling for that much when I was looking it up then. The PSA 10s were selling for about 200. Or just under 200, but yeah. Like two weeks before... No, that's what it is, Ben. Oh, both 10? Okay, that's weird, because I know that 9... 9s were selling for around 80 to 90, but 10s were selling for about 190 to 200. Um... Okay, let's keep going. Drop it in the links channel. All good, I'll check it out in a minute here. Or from the back. Fire Energy, Galvantula, Swallow, League Staff, Catop, Bobapus, Skiddo, Choppet, Ferroseed, Reverse Hollow, Galarian Stumpfisk, and Arascooter. Oh. Let's have a quick look at what you linked here. Ah, oh, you've linked me the thing as well here, Ben. Um. Oh yeah, that's weird. 87 on eBay at PSA 10. But if you yeah, but if you look at the other 10s Ben here. In 2019 it sold for $20 at PSA 10, and the next one was 150 at the end of 2019 on PSA 10. Then it went up to 200 PSA 10. And it sat around that, then it someone sold it for 87 PSA 10. Legit didn't know Barrascooter was a thing till I fought one in Sword, then immediately forgot about it. Yeah. I mean, it is pretty forgettable. You could probably sell it for over $100 easy, prices are whack. I think that whoever sold it for 10, or not 10, whoever sold it for like 80 or whatever, probably didn't know how much it was valued at. Or probably looked at it, saw, oh, it sold at 90 or sold it at 90. Not realizing that their PSA 10, that it was selling 90 for PSA 9 when they had a PSA 10. Um. Yeah, it could just be someone not knowing what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, Charlie. With your six thousand four hundred dollars XY Hollow Rare Charizard, I, I I see you there. I see you there, Charlie. Just flexing. Yeah, I reckon you could easily sell it if it was PSA ten. That Charmander you could sell easily for over a hundred. Or from the back. Fighting energy. Wash. Chameleon. Tin cushion. Yamma. Whoopa. The Dean. Pivapec. Judo. First Holy Garvantula. And Executor. Another pretty average pack here. We'll pull one from the middle for once. We've done the front, we've done the back, let's try one from the middle. We've probably gone through... We've definitely gone through at least a third of the packs here, I reckon. Yet to see one of the secret rares, though. Well, not secret rares, amazing rares they are. Not secret. Um...
Yeah. Secret rares are the rainbows and the yellows. We haven't seen an amazing rare yet, so hopefully we'll get one of those soon here. Psychic, Mumu Cheese, Duot, Marathon, Wubat, Charmander, which is nice. Everyone loves Charmander, Wooper, Blair Meowth, Cottony, Reverse Hollow C Dot, and Damarot. Go back to the front here. Yes, I know it is scuffed opening it with my teeth as well for anyone cringing at that, but <laughs> I have no nails so I cannot open them up properly. Or from the back. Start us off with a fire energy. Carscopic Psych. Cramorant. Nessa. Eevee. Rubbish. Chuppet. Choodle. Riolu. Reverse Hollow. Bath. And, ooh, Holographic Tornadus. If I tried that, I'd tear the rarest card possible, legit. Yeah. Tornadus Hollow. This is the Hollow that I reckon doesn't look great. Because most of the card, most of the card is covered by the actual Pokemon here. So the Hollow's only on around these little edge parts. Which I feel like just makes it not a great Hollow. Because really there's not nothing exciting with the holographic except the Pokemon itself isn't holographic. Yeah. Like if you compare that to the Lugia, look at look at the how much is hollow on the Lugia. And then how much is hollow on Tornadus. It's just not that great proportionally compared to the other ones. Like it's still a hollow. We can't complain, it's still a hollow, but there are much better hollows, aka any other hollow. That we could have pulled. Trying to not leak the cards again like I've done a few times so far. Obviously you guys can't see what they are. But when I open up the promo, not the promo card, whatever they are. I've noted, I've seen what it actually is a couple of times. And spoiled it. So four from the back. Halo. Charmander. I've done four from the back twice here, haven't I? Well, what we're gonna do here... Oh, I fucked it anyway. We're Fable. Should have realized when I didn't see the energy card at the front. But, yeah. I think, I think what I did there is I did four from the front while I was talking, then I went... I need to do four from the front after I finish talking. And then I did four from the front again and ended up doing eight from the front, eight from the back. Instead of just four from the back. I mean, it doesn't matter. It wasn't a great pack anyway, so. Not like we were really missing much. Did it properly this time, so it's fine. The Mies, the one that reminds me of Pirates of the Caribbean for some reason. Rocky Helmet, Alistair, 
Execute, Rubat, Baldum, Blitzel, Milsery, Rose Solid Beedrill, and a Yan Mega. Which is not great. I reckon we're halfway, at least halfway through all the packs here. How many have we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. There so were one pack over halfway, but we are yet to see one of the amazing rares. A ghost anchor reminding you of Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. I mean, I, I know why it reminds me of it. Just because of the actual part on the boat, obviously, that you turn to raise and lower the anchor that's in that Pokemon. But that's like the that's the first thing that comes to mind when I see that Pokemon every time it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Or from the back. Yeah, look, Pirates of the Caribbean also had spooky shit. Yeah, it makes sense. Dark, Dusclops, Electric, Chameleon, Incarta, Voltorb, Rockruff, Quizma, Trubbish, Reverse Hollow Electros, and a Steelix V. Ooh. Steelix V, that's not too bad. Pretty nice card. Nice and shiny. The first one did at least, yeah. Felix V. It's a nice card. Show the back of the Steelix. What do you mean show the back of the Steelix? I mean the back of the card? You mean show the back of the Steelix? What do you mean, Ben? The V cards tend to have drastically worse centering than everything else? Really? But that one's not too bad. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I think it is a little... Oh. Maybe not. Centering doesn't actually look too bad on this. Alright. Thick on the bottom. Yeah, I was thinking it was a little bit thick on the bottom. It might be a little bit thicker on the bottom, yeah. I'm not sure if you... If it's just me the way I'm holding it for you, the angle, or whether it actually is looking a lot thicker on the bottom there, because it looks pretty even for me, maybe a little bit thick on the bottom, but yeah. from the back. We've got Steel Energy, followed by Matang, Rafferig, Alistair again, Wubat, Eldum, Blitzel, Milsari, Kiddo, Reverse Hollow Delmise, and Lucario. Ooh, Pog. Good old Lucario here. My second favorite Pokemon of all time. 
very nice to get one of those. I do already have one of them in my collection from this set, but having another one's not the worst thing. Two, three, four. Cross, aromatic. On top, crockle rock, Celtic, botany, Budbray, slugma, wisma, verse hollow carolis, and ooh, holographic shaman. Don't mind if I do. That is a nice card. I'm happy with that. Holographic Shaman is very nice. Probably not the most valuable card, but it's a holographic, so we'll take it. back to the front dark energy stable eye duot opal potany mud bray slugma balls wisma execute verse hollow whooper and what toga kiss v this is a nice looking card Togekiss looks pretty good. Again, Togekiss is another one that I haven't really... Slugma is my favourite po Pokemon. Good to know. Holy Bliss. No, Holly Biss. Holy Biss. Pog Pog Pog. Yeah. Slugma Nuts. Yeah, good one. Yeah, Togekiss V. Not a bad card, Charlie. Not a bad card. I'd prefer, you know, the Pikachu VMAX, but we'll take the Togekiss V for now. Togekiss Pog? Yeah, it is It is a good Pokemon, but yet again, I have not used it. There are a lot of Pokemon that I have never used in any of the games. Master of the Serene Grace Paralysis Air Slash Tactics. Aw. Okay, you ain't doing shit, yeah. Big fat pride Pikachu is the goal, yeah. Fat pride Pikachu is the goal. I'll take, I'll take any of the pride ones really, except for Opal, because I already have an Opal. Like if I get an Opal, it's not end of the world, but I would prefer to not get an Opal when I've already got one. One, two, three, four, on the back. Brass energy, Zeb Striker. Dusclops, Beauty, Mudbray, Joltik, Weedle, Halo, Dandal. Ooh, there we go! The amazing rare Raikou! Look at that, boys! Amazing rare Raikou. Raikou was one of the ones that I was be very happy with. The Raikou one is actually kind of hype. What was it? It was Raikou, Celebi, and... Raikou, Celebi, and Rayquaza were the three that I was looking for. And we've got Raikou here, which is very hype. And a holographic electrode, okay. I'm not worrying about the holographic right now. Raikou, the, the best beast Pokemon? Yeah, best beast legendary. 
and amazing rares are very hog so this guy's getting chucked into a top loader just because look at how beautiful he is Well, at least I didn't get scammed and get zero amazing rares in my booster box. At least I got one. Which is very nice. I prefer Suicune. And you just love starting fights in here, don't you? You just want to start fights about which Pokemon are good and which Pokemon are bad, don't you? Love how we got a holography and we just don't care. It's an electrode, it's whatever. We got the... Oh, we both of them were electric. We got the amazing rare Raikou. Suicune Cooler. Yeah. What is it? It's Raikou, Suicune, and... Raikou, Suicune... I always forget the last one. Entei? Yeah, Entei, that's right. Entei just feels like... It just feels weird for the naming convention. Well, not I don't. I guess I don't really have naming conventions, but it just feels weird. Raikou, Suicune, Entei. One, two, three, four. Raikou, Suicune. I guess it's because those other two have the Ku towards the end, whereas Entei. It just doesn't match that, which is what I associate in my brain with them. I mean, at the end of the day, all three of them are scared little bitches running around Johto. It's so hard to catch two out of three of them. Yeah. Okay, I did do four to the front already. Thank God I checked. I nearly did eight to the front again. Energy. Shuckle. Delmise again. From Beak. Mudbray. Puchiana. Charmander. Chatot. Joltik, Reverse Holocotony, and an Electros. Finally move all these cards out of the way. Oh, I've filled up the tin completely now. That's the entire tin filled. This is what I'm using to hold all the commons and uncommons and stuff, and we have now filled it, filled it to the brim. There is no more space really in it. Partly because I've just thrown them all in without actually having them neat, so I'm taking up a lot more room than they could be. But it's whatever, they're just the commons anyway. I just needed a place to store them so that they weren't just making a mess on my desk. One, two, three, four. Fighting, Mikago, Nessa, Swallow, Parasite, Joltik, Sandal, Steedot, Pivapec, Reverse Hollow Pivapec, and El Creamy. How many packs do we have left? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine packs left. Nine packs left to find the fat Pikachu. Double Pikapec. I don't know if that warrants a Pog Champ. They're Pipapex. Gray. <laughs> Pipapex are not Pog Champ worthy. Pipapex are sort of just. eh. Two in a row is kind of interesting, but not really, I guess. One, two, three, four. Got Grass, Energy, Crumbeak, Nessa, Rocker Rock, Riolu, Chimchow, Carter, Voltorb, Rock Ruff, Verse Hollow Nessa, and Mudsdale. Pog Champ, don't tell me what to do. Big mud horse, yeah, the big useless mud horse. I mean, Mudsdale's okay. 
but if it's not holographic I don't really care about it at the end of the day because it's a Mudsdale so yeah Oh, which is this one? Two, three, four. Water energy. Shuffle. Nuzleaf, okay. Memory capsule. Oshawott, another one of the starters. Pinnaco. The fairy. The sperm Pokemon. Nosseri. Versailles Trubbish and Injask. If you pull a big Pride Pikachu, I'm gifting five. <laughs> you say the sperm Pokemon? I mean, that's what it looks like. Then get Milseri. I mean, yeah, I mean, true. But the, like, I don't even know the name, I just call it sperm Pokemon now. But it looks like an individual piece of sperm. But I don't think I'm going to be pulling big fat Pikachu here, Charlie. I hope I'll pull it. But I, I doubt we will. I'm not usually lucky enough to get top pulls like that. To get the big, the big rare ones. We believe. Well, channel all that belief, Charlie, and we may get one. Who knows? Today could be the day that I finally get top top card. One of the rare cards. Yeah, one's an individual sperm cell, the other's an entire load. Yeah. Okay, so we got Metal, the Electric, Bakuna, Baldred, Pinico, Clefairy, Dynamo, Mulseri, Meowth, First Hollow Yamma, and Holographic Zera Aura. Okay. That's not too bad. Nice little hollow. Again though. Yeah, we got we got both the sperm ones again, didn't we? Holographic Zera Aura though. That's pretty nice. Go through all the big cards after. Yeah, Tynamo, that's what the individual one is. Yeah, when... It, it, the best one is when you find the Sperm Pokemon, as well as Execute. So you've got Sperm and Eggs, because they just go well together. Water energy, Excadrill, B, I don't think I've got B before, this is a new one, Girafferig, Wisma, Rubbish, Tynamo, Clobber Pussy, we haven't had a Clobber Pussy for a while, not since the start, Halo, Reverse Hollow Rockruff, and, oh, got a good one, looks like another V, we got a Pikachu V, boys! Ooh! Not the fat Pikachu V, Max, but we got a Pikachu V. That's not too shabby. Let's be real, though. What's the chances... Oh, whoops. What's the chances that we get two... Big Pikachu cards in the booster box. Not very likely. I think I think this basically seals the fate for the big fat Pikachu getting this Pikachu V. You never know though. Centering on this V card looks okay as well. <laughs> yeah, big old Craigasm over the Pikachu here. Pikachu's a nice one. Um, got two left on that side, four on that side, so we'll open up a couple on this side. This 
one really doesn't want to open. There we go. We do still have one more amazing red. Every pack has a one out of 1,000 chance of having the big fat pride Pikachu. That is true. But based on statistics, every pack makes it less and less chance that we're going to pull it. Especially when we get stuff like the Pikachu V, which is one of the... Because I believe... I may be wrong, but I thought it was something like one in every three packs will be a good pack with something in it. Something good in it. Fire energy. Bath. Thumbfisk. Coding. Seldom. Banfi. Duskull. Electrike. Pinnico. Reversal of Wisma. And just a fortress. I just realized I'm going to need to sort through all of these cards after stream as well to put them into my binder. That's going to be a fun job. Probably a fun job for tomorrow though. I don't think I can be bothered doing all that today. from the back energy moon rotom Wubat, excadrill execute tatot bobber pussy skiddo shuffet oh damn we got a reverse holo charizard here boys i think that's a pretty decent card Reverse Holy Charizard, I'm sure at some point that's going to be worth a decent penny. Pretty penny. Charizards are usually worth something. Reverse Holo as well. Damn. That's pretty cool. And... <gasps> what is this pack? What is this pack? Holographic Dialga and Reverse Holo Charizard! What is this pack? Oh my god! What is this? I don't know which one I want to sleep first. God damn! Which means that I'm going to make it for the poor man's one before. Yeah, Dre. But what was that pack? We pulled both Dialga and a reverse... A, a holographic Dialga and a reverse holo Charizard. Bro. Dialga is worth 50 cents, Pog. Let's go, 50 cents. I don't care about how much it's worth. I, I, I would have been happy with a regular Dialga, but a holographic Dialga... God damn. Now that is a- oh my god, Dre, you're cringe. You're cringe, Dre. Because my first ever Pokemon game from the main series was Pokemon Diamond. So Dialga was my first legendary Pokemon that I ever caught as well. Oh, that's actually a- that's actually so cool. The only- Yeah, I am- yeah, I know you are, Dre. The only thing that would have made that pack better is if that was a fat Pikachu rather than the Dialga. God damn. There we go. Coming down towards the last few packs. 
fourth last pack here. One, two, three, four from the back. Metal NG, Sableye, Cramorant, Kuna, Ferrisseed, Violu, Sandal, Whelmer, Weedle, Verse Hollow Mag Cargo, and a Flareon, okay. So we've got a Vaporeon and a Flareon this stream. What does that mean? We're just missing... What? Is the electric one, but I've my mind's gone blank now. Vaporeon, Flareon, Jolteon. That's right. That's the one. The only one we haven't gotten is Jolteon, unless we got one, and I'm smooth braining, smooth braining right now. Lightning Eon. Yeah, exactly. Third last pack here. Sparky Heon. Yeah, Pancake, that, that sounds that sounds very accurate. He is he do be sparky though. Okay, so four from the back. Spiky Heon. Four from the back. Dark energy. Go goat. Carolis, Stone Energy, Joltik, Weedle, Halo, Sandal, Oshawott. Let's go, boys! The amazing rare Rayquaza! This is the one that I wanted! Out of all the amazing rares, this is the one we wanted, boys, the Rayquaza. We got the Rayquaza, Danger Sky Snack. Yeah, it's the big Sky Danger Noodle. We got the Rayquaza, boys. Let's fucking go. This is the one we wanted. Oh! Oh! What are these packs? Aegis Slash, Slash VMAX as well in that pack. What is with us and doubling up on good cards in the same pack? God damn. I'll put you down there. I don't think Aegis slash VMAX is going to be worth that much, so I'm not going to bother. Unless I'm wrong. Um, if it was a rainbow one, it'd probably be worth something. What are you? Deal. Um, you're not gonna have any pricing, are you? No. I doubt that it's worth much. But we are definitely going to pop loader this Rayquaza. What a pack. It's like two bucks? Yeah, I didn't think so. What a pack. We got Rayquaza, Amazing Rare, and we got an Aegis Slash VMAX. God damn. That's, that's actually hype. Dude, yeah, Charlie, we're getting goaded packs here. We're getting goaded packs, but that means there's only two left. We will leave the final Fat Pikachu pack for last and hope that we get the Fat Pikachu in that pack. But it is very unlikely, I feel, at this stage. With the pulls we got, I think we've used up all our luck. I feel like these last two packs are just gonna be... Just gonna be shitter packs. They're just gonna be... Yep, common, 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 common. And then just regular rare, nothing special about it. We never stop hoping for the fat Pikachu, but with the pulls that we've gotten so far, I don't think we're getting it. If if we do get it, then this will be the most insane box that I've seen. This. One, two, 
One, two, three, four. <laughs> and we've got electric energy, chameleon, pincushion, ferrothorn, doltic, sandal, sea dot, pivy pack, mud bray, versal electric, and a metagross. Now boys, we are on to the final pack here. Fat Pikachu pack. We're hoping for the big fat rainbow gay pride Pikachu pack. Big ol' LGBT Pikachu VMAX would be hype as fuck. Last pack magic, let's hope. Let's hope that we get some last pack magic here. Wonder what the changes of pull chance of pulling two of the rare Pikachus would be? It'd be extremely low, I reckon. One, two, three, four. And for the final pack, like in a box overall, yeah, I think it'd be pretty low. Um, so we've got water energy, stone energy, shuffle, primarant, weedle, rilba, the fairy, velma, firm, versatile milkry, McCree. It may not be anything special, boys, but it does give us every single Eevee Lucian, including Eevee. We got every single Eevee Lucian. We got a Flurry on this, Reverse Hollow Sperm. Yeah, we got the we got an Eevee. We got the Jolteon here. We got the Flareon, and we also got the Vaporeon. So we got every single. Evolution throughout this pack opening, including Evie himself, himself or herself, whatever you want to say there. But that was decent. Overall, a hot box. Yeah, that was a pretty hot box overall. Can't be mad. Yeah, exactly. I've scratched that up. Top loads. Whatever. Okay, so from today's opening, we'll go through them all. Our first pool. Here, Holographic Lugia, which I'm pretty happy about. That was a very nice pull. Then we had the Darmanitan V. Not too bad. Decent card. We got the Poor Man's Dialga. Duraludon. Holographic. The Dra Drapion V. Which actually looks very nice as a card. Very, very nice. Then, probably the biggest one of this opening, pretty much. Galarian Obstagoon. Yellow. I think this means that I have gotten every single type of card from this collection. I've gotten a rainbow rare. I've gotten the amazing rares, obviously. I've gotten a yellow. I've gotten full art. I've got Vs. I've got Vmaxes. I've got one of everything. At least. This Obstagoon card is actually really cool. And you can see as well, the little gold speckles on that outline all the little parts here on him. Every single different colour is outlined with gold speckles with this. I think that Dre Fairy deserves a sleeve. I don't Dre. Dre Fairy doesn't deserve a sleeve here. Tornadus, which is probably the most Tornadus is probably the most underwhelming holographic that I've ever seen. There's just not much hollow going on in the holographic there. So we'll just 
We'll just scoop by him. Then we got a Steelix V. Steelix V. Decent card. A Shaman Hollow. Pretty nice. I don't mind Shaman. Shaman's a pretty nice Pokemon. We got the Togekiss V, which Togekiss is a pretty good Pokemon overall. So that was pretty nice. Then the big boy, Raikou, Amazing Rare, which, ama Amazing Rare, so we got Rayquaza and Raikou, we also could have gotten a, what, Jirachi, which I didn't want a Jirachi really, that was very low on my list of ones that I wanted, we could have gotten the Zamazenta, which I also didn't really want, the Zacian, which I didn't really want either. Um, we got the Raikou. Um, Celebi was the other one. Big boy. Yeah, big boy Finn. Celebi was the other one which I wouldn't have minded getting. For the... Amazing Rare. Then we also got Electrode, Holographic in the same pack as the Raikou. I remember that. And we got a Zera Aura holographic. Another nice electro type. Then we got a Pikachu V. It's not the V Max, but it's still a Pikachu, so can't be can't be too annoyed with it. We did get a lot of electric specials in this this set. Then we got the Dialga holographic, which has a lot of sentimental value for me, so I'm actually ecstatic that I got this. It's actually so hype for me. Then, what could be the one of the more expensive cards that we got, I'm not sure. But it is a reverse holo Charizard, so I don't know how much this would go for. You can probably check. Um... Um, ten bucks probably. Yeah, it probably is. Um, so um, I don't know what this is like. Um, someone's selling one of them for sixty bucks on eBay. Um, one sold for 20 bucks on eBay. Okay, so this was a bidding one, so this Reverse Holy Charizard got bidded up to 20 bucks. There's one going for 26. Um, one going for 30. Um, that's non holo I wasted four hours of my life. Why, Finn? What have you done? Okay, so the Charizard is 20 plus bucks, so not too bad. And we also got the Aegis Slash VMAX. Oh, it's like 20. Yeah. It's 20. There is some that's selling for 30, one selling for 60, but I don't know if that'll actually sell or not. Yeah. And we got this Aegis Slash VMAX. And then the final card, Amazing Rare Rayquaza, which, very hype, very hype to get the Rayquaza. This was the one that I was looking for in the Amazing Rares. This Rayquaza is very, very nice. And then we've got all the... Do I have enough sleeves for these? I might need to get out the other sleeves that I have. Right, we've got all the 36 reverse hollows here as well. Actually, there's going to be 35 here because I put in the Charizard with all these special cards. But 35 reverse hollows there. Which is not too shabby. And yeah, I think now that we've opened up all the cards, 
Well, the packs yeah, that I, I have. Now oh. that we've... Don't want to listen to myself. Um, I think we'll go raid someone. Um... Waiting for a delivery at the place I'm working, got a call saying that it's not coming till 1pm, called my boss and told he just said go home. <laughs> Gotta love that, Finn. Gotta love that when you're just waiting and then... It's just like, yeah, nah. Just go home. It's not worth it. Sounds like lots of fun. Um... Okay, so who's live? We'll go raid Chef. I haven't raided Chef yet. I don't think I've actually seen him live whenever I've been live here. Yeah, we'll go- we'll go chuck Chef a raid. Chef's a good lad in all the communities. He's playing some Geo Guesser. I guess that's different to everyone else who's just sitting here playing fucking Cyberpunk on my list. Hi and bye. Hey Babs. How you doing? Coming in at the very end of our unboxing here. Um, I'll quickly before the raid goes through, I'll quickly show you all the hype cards we got. Uh Where are they? There we go. You alright? That's good. Oh. I definitely didn't just bump my entire desk there. Um. So what we got here, Babs, is we got a Reverse Holy Charizard, worth about 20 bucks, probably. Rayquaza, Amazing Rare. Very hype. Raikou, Amazing Rare. So these were the two that I wanted. And then Obstagoon, Yellow, which is very, very cool. The Yellow Obstagoon. First yellow I've ever gotten, and it means that I've now gotten one of every type of card from this set. It's all very nice. I guess we'll see you over at the Queen of Scuff stream. Golden? Yeah, golden. True, Ben. Yeah, I'll, I'll be over in Angie's chat later on. I'll probably close up, and then I'll be over there. But anyway, thanks for coming in today, everyone.